Hockey 605, we're here with the general manager for the Sioux Falls Junior Stampede AAA Club, Matt Tobin. This is a huge weekend for you guys here, isn't it? Yeah, we're really excited. This is our full tryout weekend uh, to have players from all over the country. We have players here from Bethesda, Maryland to Irvine, California and Texas. Uh, we have over 115 players here trying out for three, for three teams. It's amazing to see all these kids from all over the country and there's some real, there are some players there, aren't there? Yeah, there's uh, really good players here. We're excited to see all of them and watch them compete. So now, what does the future hold for the, those kids who do make the final selection? What will happen for them? Well, once the rosters are set, they'll come here in the fall, late August, early September. We'll start with our camps. Um, with the 18s and 16 teams, those kids will move here and they'll have to billet here and enroll in school and then they'll start the hockey season. Uh, the 14 team will continue to be a commuter team, which will allow the kids to live at home, and then they'll come on the weekends for practices and games, and then they're responsible for their own development during the week. Uh, but all of the teams then will um, start a very competitive, probably 45 to 55 game schedule, and we'll play a full tier one schedule. Our schedule will take us to uh, Chicago and uh, Detroit, St. Louis, Kansas City, Denver, so we're excited uh, to watch the guys play. Oh, it, we're really looking forward to it too. That's, there's been some great play out there already that we've got to see. Now, obviously, you have a whole bunch of really good hockey players here. Yeah. You also have an impressive lineup of coaches. Tell us a little bit about some of your coaches. Well, we're very fortunate. I've always said, and I said on this program some time ago, that we were going to, if we were going to develop a program like this, we were going to do it the right way. And I say that's do it the Shattuck way. Let's be accountable. Uh, let's expect excellence both on the ice and off the ice. And that creates a culture. And that culture is a reflection of the people involved. And so we were so fortunate last year to get Mike Deach. Mike actually coached at Shattuck for 20 years. Coach Deach is now moving here to Sioux Falls. And he's going to now coach our 14 and our 16 team. Wow. And then in addition to Coach Deach, we uh, have Ryland Galliardi here. Uh, Coach Galliardi uh, grew up in Calgary, came to the United States to play junior hockey. He played four years at Mankato. He was the captain at Mankato, played four years of pro hockey, and he was coaching out in the East Coast in Jamestown, New York. And so he brings a wealth of experience and a lot of connections. Most importantly, these are two very good guys and uh, I'm just excited to watch them work with the players and watch the players develop over the year. Yeah. Now, it's, it's uh, really going to be a, a great opportunity in a, to see youth hockey grow in this area as well, isn't it? Yeah, it, that was always part of our objective was to grow the game in this region. So we're hoping to grow the game by giving players in this area an opportunity to play at a higher level and maybe move on from here to play junior and collegiate hockey. We're also excited to have kids from across our state go back into their own their own communities and share what they've learned and maybe be a role model in those communities and to just raise the bar for all the young players coming up. Uh, Mike squirts Pee Wee players. They need a stepping stone to get to places like the Stampede or to a USHL team or maybe eventually to college. So there's a lot of kids with a, with, a, with a dream and we're hoping to provide a program that will help them reach that dream. Well, and you're so right that they will also be able to take back what they learn here to their local program and, and elevate the level across the region. Right, and we've also, I think, worked well with the Team South Dakota concept because uh, there, are, there are players that would have played on Team South Dakota that are now playing on our team which then creates a few spots for Team South Dakota. And so that means more kids from South Dakota are playing on the Team South Dakota team and they get the experience of playing the games in the fall and going to the national tournament. So if you look at last year, although we didn't have a U16 team, other kids left the state to go play Tier 1 hockey in other places. And so Team South Dakota's 16 team got to add additional players to its roster. Those kids then went to the national tournament and they won it. Yeah. So what a great experience for the kids that left. They got to play a tier one schedule. The kids that then joined Team South Dakota got to go to the national tournament and win it. And now they're back in their communities talking about that experience. And so I think it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. And just growing the pool of elite, elite players Absolutely. across the board. Right. Um, now, with the kids that are coming in, you said you'll be billeting those. 
right. the, the 16s and the 18s. Have you got those billet families set up, or are you looking for those families? No, we're always looking for billet okay. families, so if there's anyone interested, please let us know. Um, we're looking for good households. Uh, we'd love to you know, talk further, and uh, we definitely will need billet families uh, to be a second home for these players. Yeah, well, and the, the billet families that I've spoken with across the state are just feels it's such a blessing to be able to host these young men. Right. You'll hear a lot of stories about billet families. They actually take kids in and they become part of their family and you hear a lot of success stories where even college years or beyond they're still getting Christmas cards yeah. uh, from their billet family or they're exchanging birthday wishes and yeah, it's a pretty special relationship yeah, and really you know the player comes at a time uh, in their life when they're wanting to pursue hockey and they also have to be you know in school and mm -hmm. and that they're they're now living in a different situation and so that family that takes them in and takes them on becomes very important to them and uh, those are very special relationships yeah, it really is uh, there will be some lucky families that get to host these young men yes. you know I have to wonder would all of this what you're doing with the junior stampede be possible without the iceplex here no uh, we were just talking about that actually. I was here last night. It was late and I was uh, uh, just kind of looking around and I said to some people, I said, can you imagine trying to do this without this facility? Yeah. And I think we all said quickly, no way. Yeah. It, it just wouldn't be possible uh, just to you know, have people in the lobby and to watch and to use multiple rinks. And so, and then going forward, you know, having practice time and a place to play. And so, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't yeah. be possible. Well, it's, uh, we love having it here. It's our home away from home. <laughs> and yours is too, as yeah, well, I think. Right. Especially this weekend. Yeah. yeah. All right, Matt. Well, thanks a lot for taking time with us at Hockey 605, and congratulations on what's already a very successful event, and we're looking forward to watching those guys get out there. Thank you. We really appreciate your support, and, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to another great season. All right. Thanks. Thank you.